That does not segue. <laughs> it, I'm, build, I'm working a segue into it. Nick. <laughs> but uh, there's so many. We, we did To Die For is the first really? movie that I ever did. Yeah. And um, that was where I met I you. And that was 23 years ago. God. Um, and I asked you before, have we seen each other since then? And you said, uh, yeah, we must have somewhere. I actually don't think we have. I, we might have, and you just forgot about it. <laughs> I doubt <laughs> Didn't it. Make much of I think maybe in passing briefly, right, but yeah. nothing like this. And no, nothing. nothing but like from this. that memory, I remember you and Walk sitting like I remember being in the classroom doing that scene where I'm in the classroom and I'm in the suit, yeah. and you guys have to be like looking up my skirt, right. <gasps> and um, you guys laughing. You were just. <laughs> I was like, we're, oh my god! We were kids. But we were we were all kids. It was crazy, but it was so much fun. We did. We rehearsed on that movie. There yeah. was a, remember the rehearsal? Yeah. Period? Which after that, there's not that many rehearsals, not many movies where you get the chance to rehearse. But no. Gus Van Sant had us all sit down and we like we improvised mm -hmm. stuff. We just mm -hmm. had sort of generic like sit in a circle as your character. I don't know, like mm -hmm. talk. You do the scene and then keep talking a little bit. Yeah. Um, and that was that was really fun, and I was kind of spoiled because I thought that that's what all movies would be like, working with you and, and Gus and, and Joaquin, and obviously, you know, they're not all that great. Um, but you were so, um, you put us, you put us at ease. It was very easy because that could have been such an intimidating environment for a 17-year-old kid who has never been on a movie set really, and. Um, but it was that, I mean, that's Gus too. It was actually, for me, that film was like going back to Australia when I started making films, which what? I hadn't had. I'd had sort of Days of Thunder and those things right. where I was like, oh my God, <laughs> is this what filmmaking is in America? And then suddenly I was doing that and I was like, oh yeah, this is what I know. This what, is what about to I for felt like? Just, just the ease and everyone would go and play pool or whatever, hang right. and just, and then work and then talk. And then it just didn't feel um, structured in the sense of massive. Right, yeah. And, and Gus is so fluid. Yeah. You know, suddenly he's like putting a light, changing it and saying, try this, turn around and stretch here and right. try that. And that was it. And he just is, as he's easy. How did that role co come? You'd done Dead Calm. I'd done Dead Calm. That was the, yeah. No, but you'd done other stuff before yeah, Today. Yeah, I'd done. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. You'd done, done a lot of things. Yeah, but I came to the States um, and I. Anyway. It, <laughs> <laughs> I came and I did. And I sort of had done stuff and I fell in love and got right. married. And that was really. I'm that always was... driven by love. So I can be taken way off yeah. my course of, hey, I want to be an actor just because I go, oh, now I'm in love, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go do this, because this is way more fun. Did you, did you work less because you were, got married? Yeah, and also my desire, I think, got to, Was like refocused yeah. not to marriage. And then I read, then I, then I kind of got antsy and was like, gosh, I wish I had something, like yeah. a great character like I had in Australia when I was young, and yeah. when I was like 15. And then To Die For came along, but no one thought I could do it, and I think the studio didn't want me, and it sort of went through a bunch of How other actors. How did you actors get the part? What did you have to do? Because I called Gus and I said, please, <laughs> give me the chance. I beg you, because the, the writing was so strong. Yeah. Buck Henry. Yeah. I mean, come on, that's, talk about great writing. Yeah. So you just called him up and said, please, and he gave you the part? I well, didn't know you could I do think that. it was a bit more, I mean, I think he had to, he, he was like, I had to use words from the film, and I was pretty, um, clever in how I approached him, and uh, like you were trying to prove that you could be, yeah, the person. that I could be the person, and and he believed me, and then I was on there, and then Buck kind of was really behind me, like he would always flirt, and also encourage. He'd flirt with you, Buck? Of course, <laughs> <laughs> Buck's like, that is Buck. Are you allowed to say all that on this? Yes. Yes. You know Buck. I didn't know. Who no, he didn't flirt with, with you. Him. No, I was like in my own world. Um, but you guys were fun. Really we had fun. fun. We were fun yeah. to shoot with. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, you were those boys. Well, I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> um, in character. That's a bit of an insult. No. No. <laughs> no, I know. Yeah. You'd become those. You were. Yeah. Obviously not that, but you were. Yeah. I would have manifested.
So after that, then what happened after July 4? I don't remember. Were you back on track doing things that you wanted to do? Well, then I kind of stumbled into um, Jane Campion and Stanley oh. Kubrick, and I kind of went into, oh, okay, I'm going to seek out the people that I connect with um, who have great minds and are, and are really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, thank God social media wasn't popping back in the days when we had to audition. When was your last audition? My last audition was... Um, Yesterday, huh? You can tell me. It's yeah, I know. Okay. Was, I'm auditioning right now. <laughs> uh, I, I'm going to be an empire this season is what yes, I'm hoping please. for. 